Hey, how's it going? For today, what I want to do is head over to the Red Obelisk and start on our next base build. So I talked about it quite a bit in the past. During this series, I want to have three different bases. We got this one right here set up. It's kind of our first base, but it's by the Green Obelisk. So everything we have to do with the Broodmother will be done here as far as breeding, getting our teams ready, and actually heading out to do the boss fight. Then we're going to be doing the Red Obelisk for the Dragon today. That base will get set up, and then at a different point in time, we'll build a little snow cabin up by the Blue Obelisk. Kind of excited about that one, man. Really, really excited for that. But I've already got everything kind of set up at the new location. Did quite a bit of harvesting, did some building. So I'm hoping we'll have at least most of the parts to get the footprint and the shell of it done today. Now, I'm not exactly sure of the base design that I want to do, but we'll kind of figure that out once we get there. It's a, it's a nice little area, man. It took a long time trying to find one that I like. Junior, where is your platform at? Watch, it's going to pop up as soon as I jump off the cat. And there it is. <laughs> it's like magic, dude. I don't know, man. It's one of the visual bugs. Long as you jump on a team and off of one, it will pop back up. But after you re-log, it's kind of gone again. It's a, kind of like the same issue I'm having with my crops and stuff. So apparently that is fixed in the next patch. They got a uh, test branch out on the uh, the beta version. And apparently it's one of the things that'll be fixed. I can't wait to see my crops again, man. It's like whenever I do a dino wipe, they pop up. And the other time, they're gone. But all we got to do today, though, before we leave here is set up the Quetzal. Kind of move him over here, and we're loading up the the cat for sure. Take him out for protection while we're doing some building. Take the dodic to get our stone, and then I think we're going to take the Therry, because the Therry can get us wood and fiber. We'll be needing both of those things. The Mammoth can only do wood, so I don't want to take too much with us today and uh, kind of get set up first, right? Now, each base will be self-contained. Every base will have a forge at it. It'll have a grinder. It's going to have a greenhouse and a full set of breeding stuff, so that way... Whenever I come over here to do stuff at this base, I don't need to go over to that one to pick stuff up, bring it over here, as well as with all of our cooking and taming and stuff. So it'll be better, man. It'll be, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. I'm kind of uh, kind of excited for that. All right, Junior, please do not knock down my trees. Let's land him over here where he's kind of on an angle because the Dodic man, look, it's not his fault. He's got short, stubby legs. I want to get him on and off the platform without any problems. That should work for sure. So you guys left me comments too about not wanting to have these stairs down here all the time. Just to pick them up and keep them in the bird. Dude, it took me forever to get those things clipped into here. I will lose my mind if I have to put those stairs up every single time I want to get on and off of the, the Quetzal with teams. I think we're going to take the Pterodon as well just for an aerial view. Kind of show you the, the land and the layout a little bit better as well. Now we are setting up a base over there. Not a base, but a small platform for our water teams and stuff. Not exactly sure when we'll get that built, but that is kind of going in by the Red Obelisk. It's super deep water over there, and the build is going to be a little bit further away from the base, but I think it'll be fine, man. How is your guys' food before we head out, too? You need some berries. You probably need a lot, right? You do. Farm up so much, uh, so much stone with him, man. Trying to get stuff ready. And the other thing is, too, is over by this base build, it is, like, literally right by the Obelisk, so it's going to be super easy getting our teams from... Our breeding area up to the boss fight. Won't have to use the Quetzal at all for moving them around. So super excited about that. Let me show you something here before we go up and get on the bird. So in the last video, I kind of showed you guys how quite often I pick up this wall to go outside to get water. As well as get stuff on and off of the rafts. And you guys left me comments and said, put in a secret door. I totally forgot about these. That is fantastic, man. Makes it super simple for me to jump out here. Grab what I need to. A little bit of water. And then I can go back in without actually picking up the wall. It kind of, uh, <laughs> it works a lot better, man. Fantastic addition. I'm really glad he put something like this in Ark. It's a little stuff, dude. I keep saying that. It's a little stuff that makes the game so much better. Let's grab this guy, and I think for the most part we're set. Land you right here on the back. There we go, man. There we go. Don't fall off, dude. Please don't fall off. So we're going to leave the Anki and stuff here. I do got quite a bit of metal that I farmed up and smelted as well. I kind of cleaned out all of the metal up on this little mountain here. And then I got some crystal and metal from, like, where the volcano is. Just to the east, there's that one little cliff there. Now, I did go ahead and leave a lot of stuff in here for coming back here to make our glass walls. I don't know when we'll have a smithy made over there. Probably not until we start setting up base. And I didn't want to take this one with us because, I mean, let's be honest, I will never bring it back. But we got quite a bit of cement paste here made up, and then crystal as well. I made 50 of the glass walls just for staging, so we should have enough of that for... Oh wait, let's do this first. For uh, getting set up and getting a good count on how much we're going to need. 
Making up a little bit of food. Drop this off. Grab the berries, and we will head out. I think we only need about a hundred or so to take with us. 125, that'll work. And let's take a stack of berries. That should be fine for the trip. I think we're set for the most part, right? Possibly, maybe? There's something I forgot. I know it, man. Now, I took some of the resources over there, too. I didn't take everything. Like I said, each base will be self-contained. But I did leave some stuff here so that I can actually repair armor. Things like that when I'm out doing some scouting. Let's give you some of these. Force feed you those. Don't want anybody hungry for the trip. We'll just take the rest and leave them in the dodic. Now, there is a ton of stuff over there. I didn't take a whole lot of wood, stone, and extra stuff. Because there's a lot that we need to clean out to actually be able to start building. A little bit more, buddy. A little bit more. There you go, man. There you go. I'm really hoping that everybody kind of flies on here without problems. Should have done testing before I started recording. I think we'll be fine, right? We're kind of glitchy. It's kind of, uh... I wonder if I need to move somebody around. Yep, see, he just kind of landed by himself there. It's kind of still buggy with this. Yep, I'm getting pushed down into the ground. With this and the raft. Whenever you have tames on there, or multiple tames. Okay, I'm in the thigh lock. That might be part of the problem. Let's back you up a little bit, Junior. Back you up some, man. Plenty of room on the platform. Also notice, too, that whenever his, his wings stick out, some of the tames will get caught on those. I had that problem whenever I had the Anki up here out doing farming in between videos. And it was causing him to kind of bug out as well. We good? I think we're kind of flying straight now. It's not too bad. Alright, dude. Quite a flight. We're going to the, literally the other side of the map. And then we'll sit down. Show you the build area on the Pterodon. Buddy, you gonna make it? He's got wings. If he falls off, he can catch up. But then we'll, uh, we'll try to start building, man. Super excited. Kind of nervous. Like I said, I don't really have a design. I'm thinking about using the same design for the most part like we had on our Valgaro base. Like one of my very first starting bases. I don't like reusing base designs too often, but that is literally one of my most favorite bases. So we'll see, man. We'll see. The land is kind of set up over here for that. So we might take part of that design and incorporate it with our new one. So this. This is our new build site. Now, I did quite a bit of scouting, trying to find different areas. There's a lot of them that were somewhat flat, had the very nice grass like this that I was looking for, but it had some of the terrain, kind of like that rock in front of us that you can't remove, and it kind of messed everything up, man. So this is kind of what I settled on here. We are literally right by the Red Obelisk. I'm hoping at nighttime that'll kind of light it up some for us. Let's go ahead and land here. We'll put the Thyla out for protection, and then we'll jump on the bird. I'll kind of show you around a little bit. Now, when I was over here scouting, I didn't see anything except for some raptors. I'm not sure if there are wrecks or theories or anything big like that. Let's put you and you only on... Neutral. There we go. Keep everybody safe, buddy. Keep everybody safe. No walkabouts. Do not go wandering around. I know it's a new area. Cats want to be cats. They want to do some exploring. But, need you here, man. So, pretty nice area. Let me show you on the map where we're at before we get started. Our coordinates are roughly at 83.15. That'll kind of bring you right here. All you gotta look for is the red obelisk and then the little waterfalls, man. So, we got a lake up there. Now, there are some piranhas in the water. Kind of sucks, but is what it is. Got a waterfall. The stream goes all the way down here. We got a second waterfall. And it kind of goes down to where it leads to the ocean. Now, I did talk about wanting to do a water pin over here. Super shallow right here. I think we could probably ride... Maybe one of the angler fish and probably our water tank in. I checked over there. It does get deeper over there. I'm not sure about over here. It does lead to the ocean as well. It's all kind of super shallow, man. I don't think we can get a mozo or basil or stuff like that in here. But it'll be fine. Either right over here or right down here at the corner. We'll go ahead and build our water pin. Not too worried about it being far away from base because it will be all kind of closed in and somewhat safe. We'll put some plant species up. And that'll be a good place for our basils, the moza, uh, probably want to get a pleasy. Definitely want to try to get a squid if we can. It's, uh, squids, man, they're a, they're a pain. But it does drop off right here, if anything. And it's only just a little run down the beach. Now, speaking of that, too. You right? The what? Thought it was one of these seagulls, man. Right up here, it's a little, uh, little ramp that leads right up to the... The obelisk here, so it's gonna be super easy to do our boss fights, to take all the creatures, walk them up here. Don't have to worry about using the bird at all for flying them up. 
So super excited about that. And we are out of stamina. Well, that's a thing. I was gonna say, let me show you where I want to build at. Not exactly sure on the location. Now I was wanting somewhere somewhat flat so that we can do our fence and totally close in the base. But it doesn't always work out like you want. Maybe we'll do that for the snow cabin build. That one's gonna be a super small or compact build. Maybe even smaller than our base by the green obelisk. Kind of got a design I want to do. Used it once before somewhat. It's going to be different for ASA because the walls are different height. But anyways, for this space here, we've got quite a bit of area. And some of the trees I want to keep, like these bigger ones. Now all the palm trees, probably remove those, get them out of the way. But like I said, there's a ton of stone and stuff around here that we need to kind of clean out. What I'm thinking for the base, though, is right here. So I like the terrace base, right, where you got multiple levels. And what I'm thinking is, if we start right here, kind of where these are, that can be the main floor area. And then right up here, it should be able to step up one or two foundations. Might have to use some ceilings and pillars for right here. And this will be a small area out on the side. I'd like to leave these trees if possible. And then over on this side, it'll go up again, right? The floor will go up higher and then lead it to over here. Not exactly sure how big it's going to be. There's a pago! Where'd he go? Junior! He's in front of you, man! There we go. I don't have my hotkey set up for whistling. I need to change that around. Kind of messed everything up with the Quetzal team. We'll drop him over here. It's a level... Is that 45 or 145? Regardless, <laughs> I don't want him over here by base. But once we get that kind of done there, what I plan on doing too for our greenhouse... Now, the greenhouse won't be right at the base. There's a lovely little path right here that leads down. And to where that tree is. Over there, I want to build our greenhouse. And I want to leave that tree in the middle. So what I plan on doing is we'll have a circular greenhouse there. Build around the tree. And then it'll totally be enclosed in glass. So it's going to be massive for a greenhouse. But I think it'll look nice, man. Now if that tree gets knocked down in the process, I'm going to be super sad. Because the whole reason, most of the reason why I picked this location is because of that little island with that tree. So <laughs> I'm going to be super sad if something happens. So what I need to do is go ahead and start cleaning out some of these trees. Get rid of some of this rock, and then see where we're at in life. Like I said, I want to leave as much of these trees as possible. That one's probably going to have to go, and probably this one here too. Maybe we'll just keep that one at the end. Let me show you this over here real quick. And then over here, I've got some of our build stuff. So I've got the two storage cabinets set up. This one, we've got a lot of just the raw resources, or a little bit of everything from base that we should need for today. And this one has some stuff that I made up. Now, I did get some Explorer Notes. I am up at 103 now on the levels. I got one and a half levels from making all this stuff. And then I took the Quetzal with us, too. He's up to, I think, 2100 on his weight. So that's why we could take all the creatures today over here. But I made up an extra 100 on the walls. We got 141. Made up about 140 of the foundations. I'm not too sure how much of this we're going to use. And then we got... I made quite a few pillars. Didn't make the ceilings yet, because I didn't know if we're going to use them or not. I'm trying to just use foundations, if possible, because those remove the grass, right? If you put down a pillar and a ceiling, I did some testing at the other base, it doesn't remove grass. So that kind of messes everything up, as far as wanting to do just all pillars and ceilings over here. So we'll have to see how that kind of works. But, alright man, let me get the theory down and the dodic, clean us out an area, and we'll try to get our first foundation set down. That's the hardest. Trying to get it all lined up and exactly where I want it. Clean out a few of these trees. Kill a little Lystro. Sorry, buddy, you got in the way, man. I think we'll wait to remove the grass until we start building. It's going to pop back up anyways. There's some Parasaurs that are running over here. There's two of them. Not exactly sure why. I haven't seen any Raptors. Maybe it's from a Pego or two. Have to see. So right here, did I tell you what? That is terrible weather for a building day. Looks nice, but can get all of our wood wet, dude. Start building right here, I think. He's kind of overweight as well. Let's right, grab, let's grab the cat. He's got a little bit of weight. I should have brought the parasaur with us to use as a shuttle. Now, once we get our foundation set up, we'll move the storage cabinets from right there over here. I set them there because <laughs> I didn't want to lose them, man. Super easy to do. I have actually done that before in the past. We'll start off with some foundations, and then I'll probably go ahead and make up some ceilings. Can't move. That'll be enough. Let's give you some, buddy. I'll grab another stack. You got a points. Put that into damage. Drop that. Let's grab a little bit more. Now I need to make up some of the ramps as well. For some stairs. Totally forgot about that. 
get you over here. Should probably move the bird onto the Quetzal so it's actually safe. So what I think we're going to do is right here in the gully. Maybe right there. We'll put our first block down. Junior. Junior. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. You're right, man. You're right, dude. You're right. Maybe right on this, this plant right here. That'd be a nice view, too, out of our front door is the waterfall. And we're far enough away where we don't hear the water. So I want this one to be... Probably as high as it can go. Maybe a little bit lower. Just so that we have some play on the front part where it drops down. Check this out. Let's get on the bird and see. That first block, man, kind of dictates the whole base. So I definitely want to make sure it's in line. Do not hit the tree, please. I think I want to turn it some. If it works out with the land, we'll have to see. It's kind of straight with the land, the way that the uh, the curve is. I just wish it was facing this way more. That's going to make it super hard to build if it's offset. I think we'll leave it there. I think we'll leave it there. It'll be fine. Let's put out a couple more of the blocks and we'll see. Let's grab the theory. Remove some of these bushes. I know, buddy. You are super heavy, dude. Let's drop... Just drop the wood. We got a bunch of it. It'll be fine. There's plenty around here to harvest. A little bit of fiber. Never hurt anybody. Always good for your diets. Junior, go somewhere else, please. Thank you. <laughs> Things are always in the way, dude. It's like all this land, dude. All this land. And they want to come right where you're standing. Let's put out a couple more. Let's pick up these so that we're not... Picking those up later anyways. Be in base trying to pick something up and we'll start grabbing a wooden thatch. It's the way that it goes, dude. Every single time. So if we can come out... Okay, to there. And then we'll do some stairs going down. So that'll probably be the foundation as far as we can go that way. Now we'll have to start going up right here. Let that kind of clear out the grass and we'll see where we're at. Might be able to leave that there. It's kind of in the ground some, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and make this part here where our stairs go up. We could move it over some. Just a little bit. Let's see, though. Let's put... We can do one there, and one there. Is that going to be... What is that? Junior! Super noisy, man. That should be fine there. And then next set will go up, and that might be as high as we go. Now, whenever we get to this level, we might do pillars. Let's see. Let's go over this way and do some checking. I need to grab some more. Tiny bit more. Hold on to that. I don't really want to have two sets of stairs going up into the base on the inside, but I mean, we can make it work. Not that big of a deal. Not sure what we'll put there, but we can figure something out. So how deep are we going to go with the base? Maybe right here? See, that'll be the end of the base right here. I hear you. The rest will have to go forward. That'll work. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and set these down. We'll grab the theory. We'll harvest up this stuff right here. And one more there. Ah, that little bit of grass, dude. It's gonna bug me, dude. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna work with it. Place these out. And then we'll try to work that way. Now, we might not have to go that far this way. Is that gonna disappear? There we go. Takes it a minute. It always worries me if it's going to stay there or not. Like this piece here, if it disappeared, that would be perfect. Can we actually pick these up and have it not clip? Well, I mean, we kind of want it to clip though, right? What if we do this? Nope, that comes back. Let's see if it won't clip, we could actually change the height, but then it won't clip into this side here and it'll be kind of offset. Hmm. Let's let's give it a minute. We'll see. I want to leave as much of the foliage and stuff around base as possible. Is 
Remove all this. I need to grab the Dodic and remove that big stone. Alright, so that's good there. So that's one, two, three. That's four, five, six. That might be deep enough. It's going to be a fairly large base for the most part, I think. And like I said, I do want to go this way. We might be able to remove this whole step here in the top part and just move the top part forward and use ceilings and pillars. Let's see how this side goes over here. Might be a little bit easier to step it up here. Junior, let me move you over somebody. Let's grab a few more while we're on the cats. Is that going to remove any of the rocks? Probably not, right? Remove some. All of them. That's not too bad. A little bit of mud there. I mean, it's a it's a stone base, dude. There's going to be mud on the inside. I like that. That's going to work, and then this will be just one step up on this side. We should be able to... Yep, build out one more. Nope, not there. Not there. So that's going to work there. Fantastic, man. I like that. I like that. So... Remove that one. Keep that one. We've got the base this big. It'll be fine. So here's what I plan. Down here, we'll have some of our workstations and stuff. Then we'll have this side I wanted to go up and lead out to where the dino area will be. So our breeding will be done, I was thinking, inside. And have this kind of like an open side base, right? So this won't be totally closed in. And then go out here. We can actually fence it off some. It's not too much of a steep on the, uh, the slope. It's kind of flat up here, so we can actually go out some up around this way and kind of cut across over. So this would be good for the dinos here. I like that. Let's grab the Dodic, and then we'll try to figure out the rest of the base dimensions. So we will have a little bit of a porch coming out here, too, that will offset from the rest of the base. Hold on to that. Where did I leave the Dodic at? It's over here. Let's empty some of your stone out, buddy. You're getting kind of full, too. Now, I thought about doing some of these stone walls and stuff. I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to do wood. I really like the way that the wood on the uh, the wood on the walls and the stone for the floors. Now, we're going to go ahead and do some painting on the stone as well. One of the guys on the private server I play on has some stone that he painted black. So, just the top pieces are black, but all the grout is still like a gray color. Oh, dude, it looks so nice, man. So nice, dude. I don't remember what color fields they were, but... We can figure that out once we start painting. That'll be towards the end once we start moving in. Let's remove this and we'll figure out what we want to do with this side here. I'm really thinking about just doing ceilings and pillars. I want to play with that a little bit and see how it works. We need to make some up. That's good there. Let's remove this rock around the backside. We'll make up some ceilings. Let's see where we're at in life. All right, you stay right here, buddy. We got this area back here too. Maybe we could also do this for the dinos as well. Instead of having the uh, the breeding area up there, we could have the breeding area come off the back side here. I mean, that's super flat for building our. I mean, other than right here for our fence. Got to keep them safe, man. Got to keep them safe. I don't know if the forge will go inside. We might leave this back side open for a back deck. Put our forge and our grinder out there. I think we'll do that. We'll leave the back side for our industrial stuff. And over here, we'll just do the, the breeding like I talked about. That'll work, man. That'll work. All right, so getting sidetracked. The tails do the tails. Oh, you know what? We need the cat for our shuttle. Give me these. Drop off these. We'll grab some of the pillars. Now, I'm not sure if the pillars are going to work like I'm hoping. If it does, great. If not, fine. The problem might be that walls and pillars are a different height than the foundations. They're not the same as they used to be, so it might be a little bit weird. Leave that. Grab that. Grab a little bit of stone. 
All right, give me a minute. Let me make up some ceilings. And we'll try to get that last part sorted out. And if we can, then we'll work on the front part first. Get out our stairs, our deck, and stuff like that. And then we'll try to get the rest of the foundation laid out. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. The sun came back out, too. I like it, dude. I like it. I hear a raptor pack. That is a terrifying thing when you're overweight, is hearing a raptor pack. They're hollering for each other. I think that's raptors. Oh, it's a dodic! Junior! I got you, buddy. I got you. I thought <laughs> I thought I was hearing a raptor pack. They also fixed that, apparently, too, in the, uh, the test branch, to where you can actually harvest these stuff with the bigger creatures now. You're right, buddy. Hi, bad man. You're fine, dude. You're fine, man. You'll be all right. Over there hollering like he's dying. I mean, he literally was, but besides the point. I forgot to make... I need some of the ramps. Let me make two or three of those real quick. I need those for testing, then we can try to uh, do our pillars. I don't have any, do I? Absolutely zero. It's fine. I don't need that much of the fiber, thank you. Or the wood. Let's just make up, what well, I was going to say, let's make two or three. That'll work out. Keep walking slow. It's fine. So yeah, man, it's going to be super nice once we get the uh, greenhouse built. Now we might do the greenhouse and the water pin in the same video. Not going to happen today, of course. So let's try this. We'll leave the ones up there, just for a reference. And I want to try something. I'm super curious if the ceilings are flush with the foundations now. I heard that they were. Oh, they are! So in ASA, or ASE, the ceiling used to be higher than the foundation when they clipped in. The design is a little bit different. That would have been cool if the uh, the height of the stones would match the foundation and the ceiling. But I mean, I mean, regardless, that's a huge improvement there, having it actually flush, you know? So that's going to work out for up here. So what we'll do is we'll leave these. And we might not need any pillars. If we can do... One more off the side. We'll do a wall coming down. Right? Mainly for like right here. Let's grab some walls. We got some. I know, man. I know. Look. All my stuff is scattered. We'll move these here in a minute. Can we move? We can. Eat some food. A little bit of lunch. Can you step up? Nope. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The wall should kind of clip down, right? It's backwards. That's fine. The problem with this is it's not going to remove the grass. So if anything, I have to come out one more if I can. So that'll work there. Now, that's got foundation support. What if I remove this? And this. Can I still place that? I think it can come out three now instead of two, right? You can. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the stones just to remove the grass. We could probably do that up here too, though, though right? Do that there. And that there. It's kind of a high step, but it should be fine. Now we will have some stairs going up. So let's move this over some. So we got a couple more here. Let's grab the ceiling. The ceiling. The ceiling. I'm not sure if we can go from there down to here. It does. Perfect. So that'll work out, actually. Gotta come up to this level, and this will all be level. We don't have to worry about the grass. Like I said, we'll leave the foundations down here just for grass removal. And it'll be nice and flat here. So on the inside, whenever we figure out how far this way we're going with the... the footprint of the base, I want to have a three-wide set of stairs going up. And it'll definitely be centered in between the front wall and the back wall. And then the same thing over here. Now on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be as high. 
That's what I'm wanting, is this side to be higher than that side. So you gotta have the lower tier, the middle tier, and the higher tier. So that kind of works out skipping this section right here. And just going straight up the side there. And it's it's gonna match up whenever we do our roof too, which I have no clue how that's gonna work out. But that's gonna be one full wall high on the difference from here and over there. Over here, it's gonna be super weird because that's not gonna be one full hall, uh, one full wall high. Did I tell you what words are hard sometimes? That's probably a half wall though, right? Keep forgetting we have those. Hmm. We'll see. All right, so. Staging's done. I know it looks a mess, but work with me here, man. So we'll come out to... Should do this in the middle, where it's the lowest part, to make sure they'll actually clip in. I'm thinking that'll be fine for the, the actual base, right? We'll line that up here, because we're getting... I'm getting kind of close to the edge here. I'm thinking about keeping this just like it is. Not going any further. So that tree... Ah, it's gonna have to go. Maybe we'll go one more block out this way. That'll put us right at the corner there, too. I got a plan for right here. So, I don't want to talk about it yet. You'll, uh, see whenever we start it. Junior! That way, please. Thank you. Yep. Piss out the stairs. I see they work. Thought he was gonna turn around and come back this way. Alright, give me a second. Let me, um... I'm gonna do two things. One... I'm going to finish lining out the base that we talked about. I think that's as deep as we'll go is maybe right here. Maybe remove this side. And then I'm going to move all of our stuff over in the storage cabinets, probably right here where the thyla is, and leave it right here in the middle. That way we have all of our stuff here, and we can probably just build everything off of that. I think we have enough for the footprint plus the walls today. Hopefully. All right, so give me a few minutes, and I'll show you what I got. Alright, so it has started raining again. I, for the most part, got our footprint sorted out. We're kind of heavy on weight. Let me set out some of these ceilings and I'll kind of show you where we're at. I do need to pick up some of our foundations, though. We got one little problem over there in that corner. Might be able to solve it with some ceilings and some walls. I'm hoping. Really hoping. Let's go over one more on these. And that's good there. These are getting picked up. It's going to be too deep if we come this way. One more foundation. I want to kind of leave that tree there on the corner if we can. And plus, this is already a huge base, right? It's plenty wide enough and long enough as well. Yep, I don't want that. I want the... Yep, foundation. There we go, man. There we go. The uh, poor Dodic, man. That guy's had it rough. He's got attacked by two more of the Dillos while I was building. Of course, I was overweight and couldn't move, and the theory just didn't... Uh, <laughs> He didn't care, man. It's the way that it is, dude. It's the way that it is. Alright, leave that. Leave that. Let's grab a few walls. Need to make some more of those up, too. Four should be fine for the moment. So, we got... How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five. We got six. That's not too bad. And then what about this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that actually works. I didn't count it out. We can use a dino gateway right here for our door. And on the back side, I think we might use might use another one. I was thinking about using some of the pillars and just outlining it. And that's my plan. If ever we can't use a dino gateway, we'll just use some of those. We're not going to have a door on it, I don't think. Let's set up some stairs to get up here real quick. So I think on this side, I want it recessed. We need to go... Should we only do two? Let's just do two sets of stairs instead of three. And this side, I think we won't have them receded in. It'll just be normal. To change it up some. We'll see. That might change once we get built a little bit more. But this side right here, the foundation wants to sit too far down in. So I'm hoping we can cap it off like this. And cap it off like this. And it'll look normal. It's not. It's a different texture. Come on, dude. It'll be fine. Once we paint it, though, you'll be able to see that. Now, what we might end up doing to kind of fix this and hide it is we'll put a set of plant species right here. Maybe one on that corner and one on this corner. And then you won't be able to see the difference. Hmm. That kind of sucks. It's fine, though. It's fine. It'll work out. At least the top part is... It's flush, man. It used to not be like that. I like it, dude. Ah, dude, I tell you what. The little stuff, dude. I keep saying it, man. The little stuff. 
So on this side here, super simple. All we have to do is put a wall right here. We will do the same thing right here. We'll come out. One more set of ceilings. And we'll do a wall. We actually need to do some walls back here. Now the good part about this is, all this area under here, this will be our generator room. Let's go ahead and just actually set this up for that now. If we can, let's remove this. We can't go down any further is the problem. So that's going to be kind of open. Not a big deal. We'll set the generator right down there on the ground. And then we'll still be able to get in and out to it. Now we'll do a wall here to close it off though. Can the wall face that way? It can. We'll do a wall there. We'll do a secret door right there so we can access it. And then, well, you know what? We need to do that right here. Maybe we'll put the generator back here. I don't think it's wider than one foundation, right? We'll have to see. Let's do the secret door. That'll work. We can have the generator back here. Then we can just kind of cap this off all together. You know what? That grass, if I pick this up... That grass might not stick out. That I need for... The outside look. Right? No, we're gonna do a wall there. Because of the height. Trying to re remove as many parts as possible so that it kind of uh, cuts down on any lag that could potentially be there. That'll work there. Yeah, there's a little bit of grass inside. It's under the stairs, though. You can't really see it. Let's grab some more. Let's close this. I'm going to forget. Keep thinking that I'm missing a wall there. One here, one there, one there, and then we'll need the half walls for right there. Again, it's going to be kind of super weird whenever we start painting it, how that's going to look. Hmm! Might be alright. It'll have to be. I mean, that's <laughs> it's the way that it is, dude. It'll be fine, dude. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Keep saying that, and it might not be. So up here, we've got up to right here. And then it kind of clips down too far. This side is going to be totally open. What I want to do, on our old base over there for the barn, we had that nice little kind of gabled look. We're going to do that here. And it's going to be open. Just like totally open. So you can actually walk the dinos in and out of right here. So we'll be able to breed them in here. Hatch them in here. And even if they get raised up, they'll still be able to walk out. And into the, uh, the fenced in area. I like it, man. Not exactly sure how to do this, but I have a somewhat of an idea. So that side over there is for the most part done, except for the walls on this side. And we'll make some of those half walls up. And finish that, uh, that little piece off. Can I not? Nope. Out of walls. We are super overweight. Need to drop some of these foundations. We're kind of done with those, I think. So that works there. What if we... We might not need the half walls if we remove the foundation. I think we're done with the ceilings, too. I mean, at least this way, the whole front side will be... It'll be the same, right? It'll be all brick. Could change this out as well. Up to right here. Make them ceilings. Is the grass going to poke through, though? That's the thing. Give it a second, let it pop back up. Yep, that has to be foundations. I was thinking if we could do it up to here, then you wouldn't be able to see the uh, the block difference between this one and that one because of the grass, but that'll be alright, man. That'll be alright. Cool. So that works there. Let's set out some more foundations for our front deck, and then we'll work on the back deck. Let's drop off those and those. So this will be the full width. Ooh. 
That might be a problem. It drops down already! Okay, so... How are we on this? We got one there. And one there. Could just do two, and then have it drop down. Let's see how that looks. Nope, I don't want that. What I was talking about with those, uh, palm fronds. If you don't pick them up, when you try to do stuff later, it'll, uh... It'll be in the way. Let's grab our one dino gate that we have. Put you right there. Wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's five. It was six because we have the, the wall gone. Well, we're not using this. Up on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're doing pillars for the doors. I mean, let's be honest. We don't use actual doors anyways, right? Give me some of those. We might drop down. I don't want to go too far out, though. Drop the whole thing down? We could do three down. One up. Remove the grass. Thank you. And then... Do four. Or five, whatever it is. Numbers are hard sometimes, man. Do three sets of stairs right here. And that'll work out. We can actually put some flags up right here. Do we want to go this way, any? So what I have planned for over here? I'm thinking, possibly... So this will be some of our workstations and storage here. This will also be some workstations down here as well. But I was thinking for our... Our food and stuff might be right here. Ah, oh, you know what? I was wanting to do... Bay windows. On the front. Do I have triangle pieces? I got six. No! It's too, uh, it's too short. So we'll have to do the walls and ceilings here. Now here's another option. Cut this back one more. And do our... bay window right here. Not there. Actually, it might go all the way to the side. That'll actually look nice. And you're gonna be difficult not clip in. Hmm! Let's get on the bird. Not sure if I want to do that. I mean, bay windows is my thing, man. That's kind of something I like having on all of my... all of my builds. Time for an aerial view anyways. We've done quite a bit of building on the footprint. So that kind of works. If we do the bay windows on this side and that side, we can remove the bottom set and push it all back one for the front porch. I think that'll work out. Now the other option, right? If we left it like this, like it is, we can do a bay window on the side there, but you're not really looking out. This is a nice view, man. You won't be able to see that. Let's do that. Let's let's change this up. Remove all this back one. Leave it like it is, just well, not pick up that. Just uh move it back one set of foundations. And then for the dino side. We'll have the, uh, the bay window as well, just not the whole width. Can you please stop picking stuff up, dude? But we'll, uh, we'll make it just the, uh... Probably the same amount that's over here. Whatever this is, what? Five? One? Two? Three? Four? I think? Let's pick up these. Ow. 
Actually, should have uh, put these down here where they clip down in. That one will. That one will. This one won't. We could do a ceiling, though. It's not going to cover the grass, though. Doesn't matter. At least the, uh... The stone is under there, right? Wait, can I not clip there, either? So I can't put this there, but I can put a... a ramp there. How does that make sense? It's not gonna work. The drop-down's not gonna work here. We'll make it all the same level. This is the... <laughs> it's the main problem. With building how I like to on the uh, uneven terrain, is you got that to deal with. So maybe we'll just set our stairs coming down here and call it good. I don't want to come out any further with the uh, side pieces. It's kind of uh, kind of too much. We pick up these. See how we look. That'll work. That'll be fine. And we'll clip one more in on the side over here, just so that it kind of goes into the building. Oh, you can't. Is it not going to allow me to... There we go. Now can I put a foundation? I think it's too far down. Yeah, for a foundation. That works, so not really worried about the grass. I mean, it's going to be a railing here and then one going probably into over here. Maybe not. That's going to sit out further than the wall. We'll see. We'll figure that out. Let's grab some stuff for building. Don't push me, buddy. Don't push me. So I need some... Wait, what's the triangle ceilings? Are they just the normal ones? I can build one. Um, I'm heavy on weight. Oh, we're missing thatch. I can still- <laughs> I can still only build one. We're so heavy on everything, dude. Let's drop some of the wood. There we go, man. There we go, dude. Now I can build more than one. We can, build, we can build two. Hey, look, man. I'll take anything that I can get. Ten. Don't need that many, but it'll be fine. So, yeah, we'll do some of those on the side. No, we should have some walls as well. We got four. That'll be enough for the moment. Well, it's not. What is the triangle ceilings? Is that gonna be the half ones? Oh, it is. It's gonna be a half... Okay, look. I built the wrong thing, dude. We still need the walls, though. Give me a minute. Let me get some of these things made up. And then we'll see about doing the bay window on the front. It might make the whole thing look a little bit weird. Alright, some walls. And these small little ceilings made up. Let's see about this now. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So that right there. So we should do those along here instead of these. That way, again, the texture will all be the same. That'll be fine there, I think. So what I think we might do is just put a bench right here. Or something. Maybe on the outside and try to uh, block... The, yeah, the outside. Block that off where the uh, railing will come down. Just so that there's not a gap there, you know? Oh, we got the problem here with the... the grass, though! Might be fine? Could be fine? Let's... Uh... Yep, still there.
Let's do these. We've got them. Might as well use them. I do like how this removes the uh, the grass, though. I wish that the... Ceilings did the same. Then we got to put the ceiling back down. There we go. Alright, so that's kind of sorted out. Let's put some walls on the fronts. Didn't want to clip in. There we go. Cap that off. That'll be good, man. That'll be good. I like it. Yeah, so what I planned on doing, I was gonna do at first was, on this side, put some ceilings outside, and... That was going to be our outside deck on the side for our cooking. Still might do it. Still might do it. Could always attach it to right here. I don't have any ceilings. But attach it coming off of here and square it around and have our door on the side here coming out. We still might do that. Might look kind of cool. But let's do this side over here next. So we need to bring this whole one side in. We want the... Do we want it to be the same in level? Or do we want to just stick it out on the side here a little bit? Let's do that. Let's let's offset a, a little bit. So that's one there. We got one on the back. So this is a mini window. That one does the whole width of the foundation going that way. This one's just a side one and it sticks out further. Do you know what I mean? Gonna have the little aerial view. That'll work out, man. I like it. I don't want it to be all the same and boxed in is the main thing. And then for this one, we might... We want to wall this off. It'll help out with our issue... ...being different textures. That's gonna cause havoc whenever we go to do our roof. <laughs> having it... having it not straight. But again, it's fine. We got all the new roof stuff, so we should be able to work something out. That'll work, man. That'll work. I like it, dude. I like it. All right, so we got some pillars. Let's move you forward. Actually, let's get you out of here. Put you back up here where it's safe. Safe-ish. Safe-ish. It is never safe. Nice way to come up. Don't forget, whenever we start our dock down here, going out that way, we'll uh, fix this up, and this will probably go... I'll probably set it up manually in between the ground in here, and have it come off with some ceilings. That way we kind of avoid the uh, the whole grass issue. And that'll connect out that way, and then they have some stairs going off the side. But that's a uh, different point in time, not right now. Let's grab some stuff for a doorway. We're done with these. For the moment. And then we got... Right here. One, two. One, two. Wait, why is that so narrow? Is it only one door wide? Or one foundation wide? We can either have a very small door or a very large one. One, two. One, two. Let's do this. We'll have a very weird... Very tall door. This is going to be glass right here on the sides. Glass and glass. For part of it. It looks weird. I know, man. Look, look, look. I know. It looks weird. Work with me here. Let's get it done. We'll see where it goes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's grab a few walls. Let's start off with the glass. Stage this out some. Oh, it's the ugly glass, too. I forgot. We're going to paint it. It'll be fine. Wait, 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 wait. We need to fix this properly now. I always have problems with the, uh, the walls when there's another wall here, or, uh, foundation. Let's pick one up. So we need blue to us. See, there's different colors, depending on which way it's going to be facing. Let's do some testing, though. With ASA, if I flip it the other way, is it still going to be flush? It is. 
The texture is different. You can kind of see it's lighter on this side, darker on that one, but they actually line up this time. Now in ASE, those would be offset, right? This one would be further in this way, and that one would be further out that way. Again, dude, the minor details, man. So we want blue to us. Let's do that back down there. Is that going to look weird whenever we stack our windows? It is. That looks terrible. That looks so bad. Please, please, man, give us flat glass walls. That's all I'm asking. All that I am asking. We'll do these here. Not there. Not there. So we might not need as much glass either with these being so tall. I didn't think about that. That's kind of nice as well. I hear footsteps. It's another Dillo. There's a ton of those guys around here. Yep, don't try to run. Don't zigzag, you know I can't aim. Alright, so that's good there. Glass, glass, or not glass, but a wood, wood. And I think we might come up too high on these, just on the front. Yes, I know, we got that weird half wall we need to put there to make it all line up. Over here, it's fine. Drop that off. Do we have any made up? We don't, not the half ones. Let's grab some of these. Start putting some of these out. Can't do it over there. Start on the back side. Now, some of these will probably change to windows later on, but... We'll get the uh, shell kind of set up for right now. And then, like I said, I still want to do something on the side over here, I think. Where we come out, I might just do it on this one. Change it to a door. And have that outside for our cooker and the grill. Wait. I wanted the, um, that. So we'll just set that up. That'll kind of work out. a few walls over here. Wait, that's the... Yep, that one. And then there's that. Not sure about this, how that's going to work. We do need to go too high in here, though, because it is going to be for dinos. And then somewhere in here... This is going to drop down. I only want this first part here to maybe be two walls, so maybe what we'll do is we'll do a slope here. That's where we'll bring this down. And then we might bring this one up. And that'll make this a full wall. That might actually work a little bit better. Hello, hello, hello. Cooperate here, please. Wait, if we do a full wall there, that's going to be a half wall on top. Let's leave this part for right now. It's going to be kind of tricky to get that kind of set up. And I think for in here, we just want one high on the glass. There we go. All right. Backside over here. That's going to be open, like I said. Junior, you don't fit in here, buddy. He's like, I do, and I will. And then down here, we'll do the same thing. We might make this a bigger opening. We got one there. One there. That's going to be the weird half wall going up to make it level. I wish there was a way we had a... We could do the half wall here. Wait a minute, let's try something. Do we have any half walls made? A little bit of science. A little bit of experimenting. I'm going to have to kill off that trike, man. He's going to bug me, like, super, super bad.
Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yep, yep. Level 10. Super low level. Got our points. Yep. There we go. A little snack for Junior. Let's do... Almost did wait. Oh, there's some more walls and stuff there. Need to take those out of his inventory. Let's make some of the uh, smaller ones real quick. Yeah, that wall is way too... Ah, it's way too small, man. I'm hoping if we can do... Let's just, let's just try it. Not if, or is it possible. Grab some of these. Let's grab some of that. Stack this on top. Grab some of this. We want the half walls. Nine will be fine. If we can do these... Set them right there and have the pillar clip to the side of it. Great. That'll open up our door some. And we'll just have... We'll have a half wall set on that side, one glass wall, and then the half wall. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Really hope so. Right, so let's go in there. Actually, let's test it out here. So that there. Please, please clip. Please clip. Please. It does! It'll clip! Oh, fantastic! Let's do this. We're... we're overweight. That's even better. Ah, oh, that's even better for sure. Let's just pick up all these. I like that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that makes building so much easier. So, we would do a half wall here. We will do a glass wall next to it. Don't tell me I can't do a glass wall next to it. It has to be in the middle. That messes up my whole build design that I wanted to do. Can't do a normal wall either, can we? We can't. That kind of clips in, though. Where did that even go? So let's do this. But we need to come over one, don't we? Is this going to be the same width as it was before? I need this to be right there. That's what it is. Oh, wait. You know what? That'll work out. Then we can just do a glass wall right here. Right? What I'm trying to do is make the doorway a little bit bigger. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's weird how it clips to the uh, individual side walls there. Not sure how it's going to work out on the top part up here, though. As far as spanning across, might have to do one from each side. So here's the other thing, too, is we might have to do a pillar right there. Because there's that weird gap. That's fine. That'll at least line it going up. What are we missing? One of these? Nope. We need some more pillars. Why did that let me put two on top there, but not down here? I'll remove this one. Not that one. This one. There we go. I think because I only had one down there last time. What about right here? That'll remove one pillar each from the build counts. I'll do the same thing right here. Line the side. 
line this side. Now, is this going to look weird or is it going to work out? Up top. You got a face so far up. That works. That works. I like that. That turned out really nice, man. So, can we put one of these on the side? That's the other question. We can. I like having the borders. Wait. It's gonna be weird. I need to make sure I clip to the one on this side. And do that there. And now I want to mirror the actual door the same over here. Have it kind of be a nice breezeway going through. So, gonna need some more of those. Let's make up just a couple. Five should be fine. I think it's like, what, two or three on each side? One, two, three, four on each side, so we need eight. It's gonna give us... We're missing some wood. Let's do all those. We have some extras. That's gonna be used for railings anyways. So up here will be railings. Around both of those sides. We might make this three... Three steps wide. Just to kind of even it out some. I drop off those, and this, and that, and that. You don't go in there, actually. Pick up you. Oh, that's our secret door. We'll change it over to right there. That'll work. And this one will pick up, change to the secret door. Our generator will go in here. That's plenty of room. And then extra back there if we need it for some reason. There we go, man. I like it, dude. I like it. That'll work out, man. Alright, so, back side over here. We're going to do... What happened there? Do I need to... Why is that being super weird? Does that clip different directions? It does, but the opposite way. I'm gonna have pillars there anyways to try to match the other side, so it doesn't really matter. But super weird how that won't match in with the wall. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be covered by some pillars anyways. Up to the sky, buddy. Up to the sky. Now, are we going to do glass on the back side here? I don't think so. We could. Come here. There we go. For these two. Let some light through. We definitely aren't going to need any more glass. I am so glad that it, uh... It lasts so much longer. That was only 50 that we brought with us. We're still going to have quite a few left. I really do wish they make a clear version for... For building, though. What is... Oh. It's a drop coming down. I thought it was the outline of a... I don't know if you can see it. Way over, over there. That was an outline of a building part. Alright, so that's kind of set there. Nice, man. Nice. Let's grab some of these. Change you to railings. Need to make quite a few more. Have railings there. Have railings here as well. We'll see about doing the outside over there. 
And I think the rest of the walls and probably the roof will probably save for the next video. I do want to get this kind of capped off and set up right here, though. I'm thinking, seeing how we got wood and stone, maybe for this part, we'll do just on the front. Where we need these half walls, we'll do... Well, it kind of needs to go all the way around. I was thinking maybe do a whole line of stone ones. That might look a little bit weird. We'll have to see. I'll uh, get some made up. we got plenty of resources. And we'll test it out. I'll make enough for both. For stone and for the wood ones. Alright, so I got 50 of each one made up. So what I was thinking, too, while I was crafting, is... For this side here, I think what we might do is... Seems like we got two walls. We might put a half wall at the bottom. And then the glass and a half wall at the top. I think that might kind of work out a little bit better. Over here, we're only going the half wall high, and then that's going to be capped off. It's not going to be super tall on this side here. So let's see about the... Let's do the wood first. We'll do half and half. See how it looks. So there's the wood. Weird how the wood and stone don't line up to each other. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of different. Kind of weird. It's getting kind of nighttime, too. So there's stone and there's wood. You know what we might do? I think those walls, we're going to make stone. Maybe we'll use wood on, like, the front and stuff for the accent pieces, and then just do stone for the whole thing. I think that might look better. I mean, this wall over here, we could probably leave all wood. But for the main ones, I think stone might look better. And you know what? We're not doing walls on top like this either. It's gonna be... a little bit different. We'll change that up. Hmm. I think the stone for sure, though. So what we need to do, too, is to make it easier for doing our roof. Let's pick this up. Get rid of these. And what we'll do is, this will be capped off. And it'll leave us room on the outside for some crop plots up there or something. Totally forgot about that whenever we go to do our roof. I mean, it might be easier now that we have different roof parts to actually do a roof on that. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. I know it's hard for me to, uh... Explain it, you visualize it. Usually what I do is for the bay windows, I'll take the flat ceilings and do the triangles. So that way, it's capped off out there, and then we have a straight wall going up for our, our roof. But now that we got the different roof parts, we might be able to actually make a dome over this. I think. Possibly, maybe. We'll figure that out in the next video. For right now, we'll go ahead and set these out. And then we'll change out the other bay window real quick. And get that sorted before we, uh, before we go. I want to see, too, if we can stack these on top of the pillar. So we can there. Oh, we can! We can actually clip onto here, too. Because we'll need to be able to build up there to, uh, do a roof. I'm thinking maybe the roof right here will be flat. Just for right here. This side here. It'll go up one tile. as kind of like a little dome top. Maybe. With some, uh, some glass right here in the middle. Just to let some light through. And then over here... Because we're gonna have the dinos, might be a traditional A-frame. That comes up and down. That way we got room for wrecks and stuff in here. I don't know exactly what we're using for that boss fight there. But, fairies are kinda tall anyways. Actually, we got one right here. Wanna make sure fairies can be bred in here, and we got the mammoths as well, right? They're all kinda call, kinda, kinda tall. Tall creatures. Not call creatures. Tall creatures. So yeah, if we do the A-frame, that'll definitely be big enough for them in here. Alright, so... That's done on that side. We need to bring up... This over here, too. This might all be changed out. Let's change this out. This is gonna be... Let's do stone. Stone will be better. And then we'll probably use some wood, maybe, uh... Every now and then around a doorway or something, just to kind of add a little bit to break up the, uh, the full stone look. Like the doorway, we'll leave that wood, probably. Like, we put the... We can, the half-walls on top. 
Can I actually stack these without having... We can't. The wall down there. Alright, let's leave that and those. We'll grab some more of these. I'm gonna need to make some more for sure. Probably have enough for down here, though. And again, once we start building the inside of the base, some of this might change out to a wall, or not a wall, but a window. Now, not like one of those, but a little breezeway window. I got some more of these. Yep, super slow. That's fine. Seems like they increased the range, too, so you can actually play stuff. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. It kind of adds a border to the top of the wall, too, having all the wooden stuff. I thought it was going to look kind of weird, but that actually looks kind of good. Now, that doesn't line up, so we are going to have to put a stone one there. Why does that not... I wonder why they have to where wood and stone don't mesh up in the joints properly, you know? I just need one of these. Yeah, huh, super weird. I know the blocks are different, but they could still make it to where it joined up. So that's good there. Let's fix this side over here before we go. Might leave wood right there, just to change it up. Because we will have a pillar on the side, and that'll take care of the gap. We're overweight, aren't we? We are going to be. Let's drop them all in there for the moment. All I want to do is place a row of half walls on the bottom, the glass back down, then half walls on the top, and that should still be the same height for everything. We'll leave those. Leave that wood and that wood. Let's grab the half walls first. I don't think we need that many. We'll grab some of these. That wasn't glass. It's going to be stone there. I think. We'll have to see. Might do that wood. But this should look good. Having the half wall and then the glass on top. Gonna say, please clip in the proper places. Easy. Clip, clip up. Higher. There we go. It's like the, uh, the hitbox for the clip point is so, so off. And that's good there. Again, we might change up how this is. And cap it off with some triangle ceilings on top. All depends on how the roof's going to be whenever we start that. And that should be all the same height, right? No, this side we have to go up one more. It's going to be stone, too. We'll have to go up the... the half to match that side. Right? Or no, that's two. That's two full... walls on that side. I need to make some more stone walls. We've got what? we got five. <laughs> that's... Definitely not enough. Put these here first. Alright, so that's good there. This is going to be too high. So I need... Two, four, six, eight. We need nine more walls. And then the shell... For the most part, is complete. Like I said, right here... I'll show you what I'm going to do before we go. I'm just going to drop down with one of the triangles. This will be flat. And then we'll cap this off with a, a weird little dome shape. If it'll work. If it'll work. That's a big if. Otherwise, we'll just do a tra traditional uh, A-frame, probably. Dude, there's a heat wave coming through or something. A little warm. A little warm. At least it is late in the day. So this... Maybe? Possibly? Yep, go back, go back. We'll go there. No, not like that. Come on, dude. It's late in the day, man. Full day of building. We're almost done. And those will go like that. That'll kind of cap it off, and that'll slope down there. That's done. This is about to... About to be done. <laughs> if it'll go in the proper... 
position. We need to get some more water too. Our canteen is empty. Now there is some grass here, but it's fine because we're transitioning from a base build out to the uh, out to the grass. So it kind of works. Not too bad. The uh, sun coming through the obelisk there. I like it, dude. Ah, dude, I like it. A lot of this will stay. Remove these small ones here. And then I'm hoping we can build out this way without destroying that. Come over probably to right here and then cut up this way with our fence. We'll start that maybe in the next video. I want to try to leave as much as possible, like I said, of these trees. It looks so nice, dude. Let's, uh, yep, get some water. Jump on the bird, do a quick view, see how it looks. Rip it all down and try it again later if I don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> we're sticking with it, man. We're sticking with it. Where is the bird? Let's go down here first. That looks a lot better on the window there. Now, we'll do something with some plant species here in the corners to uh, make it look better. Probably one on that side. That'll be a foundation there. Let's set it down there so I don't forget. And that'll kind of fill that in on this side. That'll clip in there, but it's fine. It'll remove that grass. That'll give us a chance to put the uh, plant species right here. And that just kind of ties that in. We'll do another plant species, I guess, right here. And that'll kind of fix what I was going to have to do right here. Weird with some, uh, some of the railing. So our railing will come out. Talking about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're not done for the day yet. We have these. It's going to annoy me if I don't finish this before we go. So those are done. That is done. This will be capped off. Plant species will be there. Same thing over here. That's a little bit weird right here. We could just do that. I mean, that's fine. It's better than nothing. If we had the half ones, I'm just saying... Half ones would be perfect. Put it right there, break it in the middle. It would end right at the side. Now we will have pillars going in the seams. Don't know if we can do it right here on this one. We'll figure that out in the next video. But that caps this off here. It gets it done there. Go back on the bird and see. That looks good on this side too with the stone. Glad we did the stone there and the wood right here. And glad we made that wall kind of more narrow, right? So we have a bigger opening. We have plenty of room for getting in and out, especially with, like, the Argentavis or resource harvesting dinos. We'll work on our deck back here in the next video as well, and try to get the, uh, try to get the roof sorted out. Ah, dude, well, fantastic day today. Building went better than expected. Of course, there are little minor issues we gotta kinda work around. It's, it's a new building system, right? I'm still trying to build like we did in ASE, but with ASA, so much stuff is different. The main thing being the size of the walls. The walls are so much taller than they used to be, so we got to kind of work around that. It makes it look a little weird on the one side where we have the walls going up to the next level. But, I mean, the stairs kind of work out being there because they're the same height whenever they stretch out. Overall, man, not too bad. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the start of our new base build over here at the Red Obelisk. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.